Hey guys, welcome to the Adventure Channel Canada. In today's video, we are going to have a closer look at the Sea Dew Village Pump and see how it actually works because there were some questions on the um, first video how to install it, how it actually functions and works, and where does the water go and whatnot. So, in today's video, part two how it actually works. So we're going to get in there, we'll take it out, throw in a bucket of water and see how the flow of water uh, works. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, I took the seats off and the next step is we're going to take the uh, screws off to remove this cover. So just a friendly reminder, this one and this one has a nut underneath, a 10 mil nut and the rest we can unscrew real quickly. So let's do it. Oh, by the way, I put like washers on here. Normally they do not come with them. And I put them on there, uh, cause when I go, uh, when we go skiing, it, the, the ski pole goes here and it puts a lot of pressure on this plastic. So putting the washers on here creates a better uh, grip on this plastic so it won't rip off. Just a precaution. So let's take these off real quick. Uh, just a reminder, this is a T30. You can buy them on Amazon. Store. I also put the uh, washers in here like so just for a better grip the plastic this whole thing to mount onto the frame and I feel more comfortable pulling the kids on it Because without this, you could this you can actually see this thing flexing sometimes. It's crazy. All right, so we got all that. Now let's take off the uh, the tricky ones with the nut. Put your pan underneath here. the nut Take it off screw that back on there same thing with here hold the nut Hurt. and there you go I've lost this the nut once or twice somewhere underneath the engine oh well all right let's take this off Go. All right, well, there's the uh, village uh, pump. I'm going to take off the uh, twist tie here and uh, pull this out. Well, here it is. Um, in my case, the plastic housing is supposed to be glued on to the frame. And it looks like mine snapped off. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to mount the, this plastic thing back on to the frame. You see the frame there. Oh no. I just see the silicone there. So the silicone came off from this. So I'm gonna have to remove the silicone from there. Put some new silicone here, or maybe some epoxy I'll put on there, and uh, get that plastic housing back on. But for now, we're going to take this one off here. So this has been in there for, I don't know, a year now. And looks pretty good still. So there's the plastic, the 
It's supposed to be mounted on the side like that, glued on. So we're gonna have to fix that. All right, let's get a bucket of water. Okay, guys, so I got a bucket in here. I got the bilge pump in there. And so as soon as I put the key in, this thing should fire up. And then we'll see how this thing works. If it even works, I have no idea. Let's put the key in. Hit the button. Holy, look where it comes out. Right through the exhaust. Uh, the Look at that. And it has a lot of pressure in there. Isn't that cool? Okay guys, so I lifted the gate and the water squirting right out of this, uh, uh, the pump. Where, oh, I think I feel a little, there it is. I don't know if you guys can see, but right here on the top of my finger here, there's a little nozzle, a little hole here, and then I think it gets attached to something. But we will, we will see. So let's uh, dump in the bilge pump in the water again. Look at this thing. Yeah. Can you feel? Yeah, correct. Comes right, right on top there. So you will never know if you're taking in water, but you will know that it's working and it's pumping out quite a bit of water. It's pretty good. I get it. Let's, let's have to see how fast this thing will empty. Can I get air in it now? There we go. Look how quick it empties out. Alright, real quick. Well, that's how it's done. So it doesn't come out the sides or on the top right through the jet pump right on top here like as soon as you put one finger in finger length there's a little hole here let's bring this down and see where it's attached all right so to bring the gate down we have to where am i going to put this camera uh hold the reverse and uh, put the key in and hit the start. Um, so let's do that. All right, so basically the water comes right from uh, right on top here. And you can see these two divots. They get attached to this. And that's where the hoses get attached to in there. And that's where the water comes through, through here, and there's a little hole in there, and it comes out. I'm gonna lift the gate up, and I lift this gate up again. Uh, maybe I can get underneath it. Let's see. Oh, do you guys see that hole there? I don't know. Let's lift the gate up. Okay, coming back up, and there's the hole there. You guys see that? That's where the water comes out from, and there it is. So, inquiry minds, now we all know because I didn't even know how it was where it was expelling. Now I know, comes out of the jet pup pump and in here on the inside looking down 
these two in there, it's those two in there. I'll put an arrow to show you guys, but there it is. It's right there. The two hoses. Which hose is it? Out of the two. Let's fill it up again and see. All right, let's put it in and see where it's pumping. Pumping on the right side. There you go, that's the one. Isn't that cool? Put that in there. There it is. So that's how that works. I've had it for a couple of years. Let's say uh, 150 hours I started it. No, about 100 hours. Now I have 100 and... How many hours do I have? Let me see. Oh. I have now... 165 hours, so 65 hours of village pump run time and looks and sounds solid. All right guys, so put the bilge pump on and this is the hose that goes through here, around here and into the rear like we saw. And then the second one here is this one here is the same thing and leads down to another little uh, plastic holder right in there. If you can see that and that also pumps out water while the engine is on so it creates a natural suction so both both of these hoses are designed to pump water out if is inside the hull just a little info there okay All right, guys, we uh, put the uh, tie downs back here and here where the uh, power is for the bilge pump and here for the hose and one down there in the bottom. And that's it. Now we're just going to put the uh, cover on. So let's do that. Um, a bit. Oh, it's not bad. It's fine. So let's put the cover back on or the uh, whatever you call this thing. Okay. There we go. This. When you go back, just always slow, and I leave them loose till the very end. And I always go really slow. You don't want to be stripping what's underneath there. There you go. <laughs> Excuse me. on for the ski pylon, the ski pole, sorry.
the valves are on all loosely. And then we'll get the ones with the washers. Put your hand underneath, feed this through. And then turn that. Feels good. Nice and tight. This side, because of the engine, it's a little trickier. This is the side I kind of drop the nut in. Because there's not much room here for your hands. Uh oh. Oh, God. So for this side, uh, I'm going to use. 10 mil and I pop it in there I put my finger underneath it like that so it really is tricky yes I'm just not getting it mosquito Hate this side. Sometimes I get it on one shot, sometimes I don't. Oh, you got it. Yes, sir, we got it. So, this helps a lot. 10 mil, put your finger underneath and crank it up. Alright, so that's it. down. Excuse me. Perfect. Now, we're putting the seats on. There's a uh, rubber seal, so when you splash on it, it won't get into the engine. And this rubber flattens out if you never take off the seat. It comes flat, and it loses its buoyancy, and then your ride is not as comfy. You hear the boom, boom, boom because it's flat and the plastic is hitting this plastic. So, with the seat, you just put it in there, but don't clip it down. Just lift, just leave it loose like that. When you're ready to go out in the water and you prepare, slap it on, nice and tight. And I just leave the uh, rear seat on loose. So, until it's time to get out in the water. That wraps it up for today's uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and understood, at least I understood, how the build uh, pump works and where the water is expelled. All right, till the next one. Take care.